Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys we're going to be diving down into the charts to take a look at what has been going on most recently with Bitcoin. As we have seen a bit of a pullback I want to kind of review what my analysis is saying and what I should actually expect to happen next. As we get into this video if you do find it useful and informative hit the like button I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you are going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right with all of that said done and out of the way let's jump on down into the desktop and take a look at what is going on here with bitcoin and we're going to start things off guys with our hourly chart i really want to kind of review um these most recent micro moves and what this might actually mean to a bigger uh, perspective okay so right in here obviously as we were talking about yesterday um, i was expecting a push slightly higher um and actually you know we have a fourth wave here you know actually just below our wave one this is actually a really good spot and then pulling us back down now i thought this was going to be um, hovering around this thirty-seven and a half thousand dollars, which it seems to be, and um, so that seems to be playing out quite nicely. Okay, um, and again, you know, if we we this because this actual fourth wave went higher than than slightly higher than expected. Uh, we can acknowledge that we haven't quite reached uh, the threshold for this. So there's a little bit more still to come down within this fifth wave. And the rest of these fifth waves, uh, this one over here, for example, uh, again, this is perfectly fine to come down to. It's already met its minimum threshold. So I'd expect this to come down uh, a little bit lower now because of how high that fourth wave went. Um, so I would expect us to kind of come down towards $37,000, maybe a little bit lower than $37,000, um, and then we'll start to move up. Now, this obviously means that we are have lowered this third wave down to this point, and the fourth wave still stands up here um, towards $40,000. Um, you know, it might actually come down a little bit there. We might actually find that this uh, area around 40 exactly is the point or the turning point it might even be that actually you know it's just up here at the $39,000 range we create a double top something like that and um, it's really hard to actually get a gauge on this one uh, until the time comes where we actually start to actually analyze that move to the upside and um, so this particular fourth wave is still yet to happen and uh, you know I think we're going to be somewhere in this range between 39 and 41 uh, I think there's something inside here with all of this as resistance this is a natural turning point and um, so I'm going to pop this right up here and then of course we have our fifth wave low taking us down to $36,000. Okay, um, obviously this actually just constitutes a, a bigger move and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so anyone who was following yesterday's analysis will know that we've basically got a lot of different wave counts going on here. Um, and you know, I'll quickly just redraw a couple of them uh, so you can kind of get an idea that if I actually delete this one here, this set of um, candles, we actually were impulsive. We had the bounce for the fourth wave and then we come down into this lower area. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. And this was actually, you know, preceded by, um, you know, an ABC, which is exactly what we're looking for. So um, if I grab hold of that and I'll just draw it back on, one wave, two waves, three waves, four waves, five waves, right? So five waves. And we want to come down a little bit lower, not too much, but around that $37,000, just to hit out that 1.618 um, on that move. Um, that would be the most probable area. And I'll just actually just adjust this a little bit, see if we can get that more accurate. Yeah, about 37,114 uh, seems to be the level. Okay, so and that's what's going on there on the smaller time scale, right? This is the hourly chart. So we are looking for a pullback down that should happen today. And then we look for a reversal. And from wherever this lands, we would look for a reasonably you know, sizable ABC correction. Um, and again, this should actually then take us up towards what we are fourth wave high. And um, this fourth wave high is a part of a slightly bigger play, and um, which actually starts all the way up here when we had that FOMO, right? We had all that FOMO right up here and we had five impulsive waves to the upside. Um, and then basically this is the start position of five waves down. And I was talking about this on the way up, actually. And um, this particular pattern is quite worrisome and we've actually just replicated it on the way down. And this plays out so many times. Um, market makers, you know, they have this, they move it up with no random reason. They you know, get it to trade up, they pull it down. You trade sideways, you pull down, and um, we are probably going to come down a little bit lower right into this range here. But before we even started this surge to the upside, so anyone who was uh, watching the channel way back then, um, you know, a few weeks ago, you, you'll be aware that you know we were dollar cost averaging on this dip, we were not buying this dip, uh, or buying this surge to the upside, we were not FOMOing in, we were buying this dip down. 
Okay, um, so obviously from here we have one uh, wave. I can actually just remove the ABC because that went impulsive. And I'll remove the impulsive move so I can show you, right? So we obviously have these moves here. Um, but on a bigger scale, what do we have? We have wave one just here, wave two going up, wave three, which is what we're looking to complete at about $37,000. Um, that'd be down here. We then pull up for a fourth wave high. Uh, and again, we can come quite high with this. It could almost look like a pretty good rally, um, but I'm not looking for it to go too high. I think we're going to find resistance right up in this area. Um, you know, if we look back, we can actually see there's a lot of resistance right in here uh, in this $38,000 range. Um, so we're going to be mindful that there might be something up here that's actually going to block us. Um, but this will be a fourth wave, and then we come down lower into a fifth wave. Um, and again, if we were to try to, you know, because we don't really know where this fourth wave is going to go, we're just kind of speculating on that. And uh, we get an idea that we could be $36,000 or the high $35,000. It really depends on how high this fourth wave goes um, as to whether or not we are going to be going down below, you know, $35,000. There's a lot of actually really good areas down here, by the way, guys. Um, this another really good area of support comes in at $34,000. There's obviously $33,000. Um, and again, you know, that would be basically creating a double bottom. There's a lot of scenarios here that do play out um, with this potential move. Now, the reason I'm not looking for it to go down too far is we are also tracking, if I actually remove this one um, and I remove this fib here for a sec, um, we are we are tracking you know a few really good key areas, um, specifically on this retracement, right? So yes, there's the pattern overall, um, but there's also the Fibonacci relationships. And one of the things that we want to do is we want to acknowledge where we're retracing to. If we come down into this low range that I'm expecting us to, this is a 618 retracement retracement zone and so if we come down to that thirty six and a half thousand dollar range that is effectively a 618 retracement that could be a very natural turning point and as you can see on this larger scale for bitcoin uh, we also have this larger a wave up this is just a b wave down and then this goes on higher um, and this actually takes us out towards fifty thousand dollars OK, so um, what we're really looking at here is a very natural, healthy pullback after such a surge, although the pattern itself is worrying because this is exactly what market makers do time and time again. Um, and then, of course, you know, after this corrective action, we actually are looking at going up in a really significant way, which I would anticipate actually being an impulsive move in itself, but it's too soon to really know for sure. And um, of course, you know, we can come down to $35,000, as I said, and this area is a 786. These are the key areas that I look out for in terms of retracement, um, because Bitcoin has a really strong relationship with the 618, the 702, and the 786. Um, and if I uh, actually grab a hold of this and throw it on there, this is effectively, in my opinion, uh, the optimum value range. Okay, effectively between $35,000 and what is up here at $37,500. This is going to be that sweet spot before we, I think we are likely to see a huge reversal. Now, obviously, there are some macro events that might lead this into a different scenario. Um, you know, Ukraine, Russia, etc. I think some of that pricing is baked into this already. Uh, however, you know, if that does actually come into fruition and all that kind of stuff, there will be an impact and we should acknowledge that it might actually take us down into these lower ranges, maybe even significantly lower. Um, and again, you know, we would analyze that at the time and make uh, the judgment calls as required. But right now, uh, everything from a technical analysis perspective is actually coming right in where we thought it was going to. Um, we have the ability to come down here in this B range, uh, B wave low of a, a 618 retracement. Currently where we're, we're uh, we're actually sat there right now, sorry. Um, and if we come down to this B range low, this is actually this $37,000 range. This is the 702 and Bitcoin loves the 702 retracement. So this is actually a really good place for Bitcoin to start to see a natural reversal and a natural flow back to the upside. Um, and again, that next uh, wave count should be taking us out towards um, what is effectively going to be $50,000. So a pretty significant push in the right direction. Um, and again, you know, all of this is, um, you know, we, we talked about the head and shoulder pattern here, the breaking of the neckline, um, the surge through it, the retest of it, the failing to keep that line. And um, so there's definitely an area right in here at about thirty nine and a half thousand dollars that is um, acting both as support and resistance. So we should be very, very aware of that. This fourth wave might actually find a natural kind of uh, block right there and pull back down. And um, so we want to be very, very cautious over all of these kind of things. But this is a good dollar cost averaging. Um, situation to be in, in my opinion, um, because I do think this is where we're going to find uh, a natural turn 
to the upside. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to kind of leave you guys with, of course, is glass node data. Um, the exchange net position change, um, as in after counting up all the inflows and all the outflows, what is the net difference between the amount of Bitcoin going in and going out? Um, and again, more uh, Bitcoin has left the exchanges than has come in. Again, this is more accumulation. Um, usually during these uh, kind of bearish phases, uh, what you would naturally expect to see is a lot of Bitcoin coming onto the exchanges to be sold because people are panic selling um, and as the price pulls back. And here's an example of May uh, 2021. Obviously, the price was up here uh, and it started to pull back down and you started to see panic selling occurring. And you saw the peak of the Bitcoin coming into the exchanges pretty much close to the bottom, right? Um, late to the party, if you will. Um, and then, of course, you know, it stays nice and high, people selling off thinking it's a bear market. And then, of course, you know, the price surges up. And the natural thing here is, um, you know, Bitcoin leaves the exchanges more than it comes in. Now, the important takeaway here is that basically we actually saw a lot of accumulation on this leg down. Uh, this was basically market makers and whales manipulating the price and um, making you know, retail investors get shaken out of the market thinking it's all over. That's it done. Um, you know, double top or whatever that you want to articulate it as. Um, and actually what, what's going on here is you had people like Binance buying up 43,000 Bitcoin, for example, and a load of other whales also buying up a load of Bitcoin. And then, of course, the price moves up and basically Bitcoin leaves exchanges again, right? And it's continuing to late leave exchanges. We haven't seen the same amount of inflows that we saw previously. And um, right now, this is actually all pretty indicate uh, is pretty good indication of accumulation and uh, of what normally would happen in the bull run. Okay, a little bit of inflows uh, as people try to sell the top here. And again, you know, that's kind of what you're seeing the pull back down and accumulate uh, and then panic selling down at the bottom here, literally at the bottom uh, here. Then obviously the, the reversal and again, accumulations occurring, even though the price is pulling back down in a similar way of what we saw, you know, on this way down here. And um, so overall, you know, um, you know, the data is suggesting some pretty good things in the future. When we obviously take a look at all of these uh, stochastic RSIs, we have a monthly stochastic RSI that's over sold. Um, and again, that is indicating that this is going to be pushing up in a really significant way soon. Uh, the monthly, uh, sorry, the weekly is also right down here in this oversold area and um, ready to have a good surge to the upside. The daily is finally in the oversold position. The hour, eight hourly is in the oversold position. The four hourly needs to come down, hence this move to the downside. And the hourly needs to uh, actually move up, hence this fourth wave high, and before coming down into this fifth wave low. And um, so ultimately, we are getting very, very close, uh, in my opinion, to the end of this particular uh, correction. This is the accumulation zone as I see it. And uh, from there, we should be looking for a really good surge to the upside towards $50,000, where I would naturally expect to see some form of corrective action again. Um, so guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you have found this video useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you are going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.